Well, hello, 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 my mad scrappers. Guess what? I have a mail call. I do. I can't believe that my orders came in this fast, but those boxes right there are both my orders from HSN Craft Day. So I just wanted to put them on the desk and I was going to shoot from above, but there was no way all you were going to see was brown. So I go, oh, wait, let me take a quick um, video here to show you. I have two boxes, one bigger than the other. We're now going to launch into everything I got because I think it all arrived all at once. I'm like, really like, wow, super surprised. I mean, they came in yesterday on Friday, but I was, I was, it was a busy day for me, which is unusual on a Friday. Usually it's going to be a little bit more quieter, but oh, well, who cares? I was a busy day at one fast and then we we were going out to go um to a bit of a concert to watch a band we follow elvis monroe play at the mint in hollywood or was it la i think it was still it's still formally la so um it was just a big treat to see friends but anyway so i didn't get to open my packages but now it's saturday morning so here i am opening it up so guys let me go ahead and position this camera where it usually lives move the tape the boxes off the table and let's get crack at opening them up i'll be right back Kiddos, I am back here. So we're ready to start cracking open boxes. And I'm just going to really quickly just open it and then I'm going to move it to the side so that we have a clean surface here for me to show off all the goodies that I got. What did I get? I don't remember. Remember you know, how I am, guys. I don't remember what I ordered things, you know, two, you know, two minutes after I did it, after I hit send. But here's the first look. Dunnage. Yay. Whatever. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let, this is was right at the top. <clears throat> Excuse me. So let us see what we have. My voice has gone a little wonky. Maybe it was because I had too much fun last night. It was really, really, really nice. And we probably did a little bit more yelling like a crazy teenager than we should have. But had a great time. Okay, so this is the glue pen set that I got from Crafter's Companion. And they are three specialized tips for precise application. These pens uh, feature light blue glue for a visible application that remains tacky. Okay, so wait a minute. So that I have... um. Some of that, um, oh my gosh, who did it? I can't remember now. It reminds me of that. Okay, let me try to get this opened up. I'm, I have a loose nail, so I don't want to suddenly in the middle of the camera send it flying. That would be so tacky, but then it's in keeping with who I am, so who knows? But anyway, we do have three pens in here. So I'm very, very jazzed. I want to try them because they work with the flake, the gilding flakes that I haven't done anything with. So that was, I mean, the real impetus to getting these is to make me start using a lot of my stuff. I mean, I flat out shop faster than I craft, guys. But very, very cool. I mean, look at that. This is a really thin pen. I mean, I and I don't like thin pens like this. Not the tip. The tip is cool. It's more of a, I like fat pens. I'm a, I'm a, I mean, if you've ever seen, I have, where's my pencil right here? It's like, I use these pencils. I, this is what I always have. I'm writing notes on it is with these because I just like a fat grip. Don't ask me why. You know, I never got over kindergarten, I guess. So anyway, those are the glue pens and we will hopefully soonish see me do something with them ish. Okay, we're going to fling the bag out of my way. The little envelope. Okay, put that back. I'm trying to be good about not leaving messes on my desk. What is next? Hey, look, it's a box. Oh, it's Anna Griffith, the classic card stuck card. You know what? I'm going to come back and revisit this in a second when I find the die. So we're going to do this kind of like, you know, team it. So, okay, so we have, oh my goodness, this is from Diamond Press. It's the King and Queen of Hearts, the stamp kit, the stamp and die kit. I was really jazzed about that because it spoke to my little Alice in Wonderland-ish. Um, so, oh my goodness, I couldn't, let's go this way now. Maybe it's because I have that paper right there. So I very much, I had to have it. If it, anything relates to Alice in Wonderland and the Mad Hatter, especially because, of course, I am the Mad Scrapper. So I channel that madness. I love it. So I had to get this. So this is the stamp and the die kit. So let's get this all opened up. And shoot, I should probably just go ahead and transfer it into, because I have all of these envelopes from all the boxes I have bought from Diamond Press. I need a new box, but I'm going to be honest with you, I didn't like the last few boxes that they um, had. I wish I had bought more of the other floral boxes. They matched my motif better. But, oh, well, anyway, let's not get going. So, of course, as always, they give me a new folder. I now have I probably a lifetime worth of folders because I cut them in half. And that is a hint to you, to all my newbie people. I take these. Anybody who holds a marquee, I cut them. I cut them right here like, the, like this. Let's do that real quick. This is what I do with them. And then use them as I would plates. 
but it makes them last longer. And what I do consistently is I use one always as the cut plate and then the other one as the top sandwich plate. And I tend to do the one with the printing on them as the top sandwich plate. And then when this finally warps and dies and you can't run it through, I flip them. And then I take this one and I make it the cut plate and then I grab a brand new one and on we go. And I get a lot more life out of these um, folders because they immediately start to warp. Yes, you can make the argument they're being cheaply made. Who cares? They last, you, this is how you make them last longer. And again, they're inexpensive, so they're replaceable. And I'm telling you guys, with every kit you get, you get one of these. And I haven't run out. I, I, I bought a replacement set of 10 of them. I can't even tell you how long ago, probably about a year, more than a year, at least maybe pushing two years ago. I still haven't even used those up. So just take that with a grain of salt, all right? That this is how you do it. All right, we're setting that aside because that's not what you're here for. You're here to see what I got. So the king and queen of hearts. So this is what comes in the kit. So you have all the stamps that stamp out the cards and then the designs. And I love that mom, you are one of a kind. Dad, you're one of a kind. How cool. And of course, all the symbols, the stamps and the die cut it out. So you can make all your own cards except for you got the ace, the king and the queen, not numbers. But that doesn't mean that we can't be creative. And here are your symbols. And again, all of your, your card tops, you know, the the spade, the heart, the, no, that's not the spade, that's the clubs, the, the hearts and the diamonds. And then the crown. Really, really cool. And then we've got these. Let me just use the box and do it this way. Look at those stamps. They are really, really cute. So happy Mother's Day, happy Father's Day. So they're being done as a fa Mother's Day, Father's Day. And since I have them right in front of me and I happen to know the whereabouts of my tape, let me show all my newbie people something else I do with all of my stamps. As soon as I can or when I start using them, I will, because I am just a little bit AR, I align this up nicely and then I grab a little bit of this good quality packing tape. And this is, I'm trying to finish this off. This is my Scotch packing tape. And then I just do this, I lay it down Ta -da! And then I just flip it over. So now I have, it's now always together. So now it's just, it makes it just that means you're not peeling them off and then losing your acetate. And then eventually you can clean them up whenever you decide. And you can use this for, um, for shaker cards, but I never do. I just keep, this is how I protect my stamps. So I do this to all my stamps now. It's a trick I learned from Ryan of Glitter Grunge um, Greetings. Oh, and, but look at this. Look how cute they are. Just really, really awesome. And then, of course, we have the, the dies. I really didn't even show them off. But the, just, I think it cuts out almost everything. I think these sentiments going to go right in here, which is a really nice little panel. So, very, very cool. And, of course, this right here cuts out like as if it were a deck of cards. I love, or, you know, at least several cards. So, I am insanely pleased. I am really, really excited about this. When I saw it, I knew I had to have it. So, we're going to, right now, for the moment, we're just putting it all back in here. But I am going to probably transfer them to all of those. And I'll show you what I'm talking about when you're asking me, what am I talking about, Myra? I'm talking about these. I have several of these. I bought these. Um, Diamond Press, I believe, still carries them on their website. If they do, I will link it down below. And if it's still available on HSN, I will link it down below as well. But they're the, they're the refill kits for the boxes. And I have three of them. And they're all full. There's a surprise. I need more. So I'm going to have to break down and um, get more boxes. Because... I'm trying to keep things organized here. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're not even going to worry about that now because we don't have time to spend three days I'm trying to put that away and we won't toss that. And let's see what's next in, in my little Mary Poppins box. Um, The large friendship sentiment. I always get these. Anything that I can do card, you know, sentiments with and I love these with the cursive. Oh my gosh, I have fallen in love with this concept. That diamond press just keeps adding to, and of course, because they know that people like me are gonna get them. So let me get this open. So, oh my goodness! But this is the friendship one. So let's get these out or try to, but they always are stuck to the cellophane. There is another folder. We're not gonna cut that one in half, but we're gonna set it aside here to add it to the pile. I'm not kidding you when I tell you. You want to see what I mean when I have a pile of them? This is just this is not what's in the box. This is what I have here that I keep adding to every time from craft day. See, I have a ton of these and it just, um, 
it gives you the freedom. See how the, how I said I cut them apart? There's my ding one, and then I'm sure there's one here separate. There, there's my cutting plate. So let me organize these real quick. So that's what I have, and I just keep fooling from here. I cut them apart, and that's, you know, I just have them here handy, and eventually I'm going to run out at some point. The jig will be up. But, I mean, see, here's here, another one. So I have several that I've got started in here. So, and again, see what I mean? You can tell I've used this, but I have one that's perfect and then the ones I've been cut into. So that's just a thought, my friends. I'll leave it up to you. Y'all have a good day. That's a catchphrase for a um, YouTuber I follow. Bow of the fifth um, brigade. But, um, oh, who cares? Anyway, that's holy. That, that, that thing. We are not going to talk politics or anything like that. This is crafting. This is our escape people, right? Good. Diamond Press, yay! Friendship Sentiments, Instruction Sheets. So this shows you what we got or what I got. So you can see all, I mean, again, friend and then hello, love you, happy birthday, glad we're friends, friends forever. I mean, it's awesome. And these, I'm getting these because I really, really wanted to start doing some more mixed media backgrounds. And these are the kinds of things you can put together. True, best, better. You are my favorite. Happy. You are making me happy. I mean, all of these words, so much mixing and matching together, better together, that you can do makes this so versatile. I'm, I was just really jazzed when I got it. I'm like, oh, heck yeah. I didn't even think about it. It's like, click. And I was going to get it in here. These dies. I mean, these are perfect. I mean, you can use them for anything for a, for, um, an A, uh, an A7, which is your five by two. Obviously it's, I mean, five by seven, excuse me. Your uh, A2 is your four and a half by five and a half. And even for slim lines, these are all going to be awesome dies. So, oh heck yeah. I picked these up. So I'm very jazzed and maybe we're going to do some, I'm, you know, I was supposed to go to an event today, but yeah, no, that didn't happen. I'm going to make this easy by myself, eat meat for right now. And this is what I do. This is the other thing I do. And you, I think you've seen me gotten, you know, see me do this and maybe the new people don't, but I take these cellophanes and I use them because I, if I'm going to spend money and we all know I do, um, I want to spend it on the cool stuff and not necessarily on storage envelopes. That's very unexciting. So, and it doesn't mean that I don't have them because you guys seen what I use, but this is a way might as well use those bags. And there you go. There's my storage sleeve until they fall apart. And then I'll put tape on the sides or whatever, and I'll use them forever. So there's another one for you guys. Um, what is next? It is Anna Griffin Simply Card Stand Dies. Yes. These were, I had seen her showcase these earlier and I didn't get them for, I don't know why. I think I was just waiting out for Craft Day and the shipping cart. So I think that's what I did. My, ah, those still, I don't think they're, gonna, I, I kind of watched and it didn't look like they were selling out. So I'm like, okay, I took the calculated risk. It doesn't always work for me. Okay, guys. But on this case, it did. But I wanted to get these because these are the dies that cut out stands so that you can display or send it with a card like my mother-in-law. We made, this is when I was early on dating my um the peanut gallery. It was their 70th wedding anniversary, and no, it wasn't that. I think it was just one of their wedding anniversaries, and I made them a card, and it's right now on display in the China Hutch, standing up. But it was an easel card, but oh, she loves. She just kept all my cards. She was like, oh my gosh, and that's so. Ex I was to me, it really tickled that she did. We having my um Steve's um nephew also i made him a birthday card he's like oh my gosh this is the best card ever i am saving and every time i say my god i still have that card and this is by a 20 year old kid you know he's now well, he's now like 27 but that he remembers and he makes mention of it those are the things that as a crafter and as a family member i mean they just really warm my heart so it's really really cool that's when he tells you that you know they appreciate people appreciate what you make so anyway Let's keep going. Let me not stop. You know, stop waxing poetic. You're not here for poetry. Um, so here are the different ones. But see, just really, really cool. They make so we have three different stands, and they're just awesomeness. Just to be able to you know display cards. Not I mean really, really prettily for you know for all your Anna Griffins or any card that you make. Because remember. You know, it's like my, where is that? Where's my stamp? Where's my stamp? Where it is? It's right here, right? Where is it? Where is it? And that's not the one. Where is it? It's right here. There we go. Handmade cards because no one displays an email on the mantle. There you go. That's the reason. <gasps> Hold on. Just one second. Achoo! Oh my goodness. Sorry. I'm just all snarfly and allergic. It's my, I think finally spring is catching up with me because I've had a, I was, I was just mentioning to Nan two days ago we were out. 
I was taking her to get her to her hair appointment. And I go, my gosh, I'm really surprised that I'm having such a good spring considering all the rain we've had. Yeah, I think I called down the fates and now they're like, ah, yeah, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah, yeah, my, my allergies are starting to flare now. So on that note, give me a second. Let me blow my nose rather than be snarfling at you guys for the next, you know, t you know, 20 minutes. I have returned from the snarfling. So now let's move on to what is next in this box. I only have one more thing in this box and then we move on to another box. And this is item 829668. Right, who knows? So let's just, you know, this one I think mine might be able to open. Oh, but it's also sticky. Oh, never mind. We're just going to go this way and make it easy because that's why I have the amazing Amazon tool. Okay, what have I got here? Oh, okay, this is terribly unexciting, but hey, I'm excited. So these are my spatulas. I ordered, my gosh, I didn't even realize that I got these two, or maybe I did and I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> There's a surprise, right? So I needed spatulas. My gosh, I did not realize that these were so big. But they're great. I swear they're cake decorating nice. Who cares? I needed good spatulas. I was needing them for our card I made for an event later this year that I'll be announcing soon. So, yes, I'm still teasing you about it. It's still a mystery. <gasps> um, but I needed these. So, I got these. I mean, because they're white. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. This is perfect. This is perfect. This is perfect to pull out for I got all those Simon Hurley Lunar Paste. Oh my gosh, way, way cool. I don't even think I'm gonna put these back in the box. What I have to figure out is where I'm gonna put them. Maybe not, let me not throw the box away. Let me put it back because I have somewhat organized my mixed media, all the stuff that I still wanna use, um, but I need to organize it even further. But for the moment, let's keep them in their packaging. But this, and these were inexpensive. I think, guys, this was like $13, $13.95, something like that. I don't think it's sold out, so I'll link you down below to this. So worth it. So, in my opinion, highly, highly worth it. So, yay. Not exciting stuff, but I'm excited because it's a tool that's going to help me. All right, let me set that down. And let's go for the box at the bottom of the box. And now we're going to set our box flying. Hang on a second. Wow. Womp. There we are. Let's not drop. Okay, so is there a top in the bottom? I don't know. Let's just get cracking. This is one of those that I think... Oh, there we go. So we use that pointy part of the tool. Kind of. It's not really super pointy, but there you go. And let's open this up. This is obviously paper. So now, which... I didn't order that. I think it was only one... The one pad of paper that I ordered that I couldn't help myself. And it was the Mediterranean collection. Because while the whole collection was very... Excuse me, very, very cute. I was, I know, it was very beautiful. I loved it. I'm not, don't get me wrong, but I knew I wasn't going to use it, so hence I didn't get it because I have enough stuff as is that I'm not using. Okay, so we're going to send the box flying. Let's see if we get two points. Two points, people. I want that. Oh, did you guys, anybody watch the game last night? We didn't because we were out at the concert, but oh my gosh, the Lakers won. Yay! We had watched every game except for the last one, and we were driving through LA as the, the, the ends of the party were, you know, the celebrations and whatnot. So this is Crafter's Companion, the design collection, Mediterranean Dreams. This is why this side of the paper, which is what they're featuring. <coughs> excuse me, is why I bought this paper. Hang on. Let me have a sip. I have a bit of a dry throat. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Hold on. Oh, Okay. There we go. I think I talked too much and I talked too fast. That was something we were discussing because Nana is very hard of hearing. And wherein she can hear what I'm saying, sometimes I'm talking way too fast. Do I talk fast? Yeah, never mind. Don't answer that question. My mom and I, you should, if you think I talk fast in English, you should see me in Spanish, man. Mom, not so much now because now she's sinking into dementia. I have to purposely slow down my talking with her, but it's, it's one of those things I miss, but cause mom and I could talk shorthand just about, you know, we, we would, you know, I'm Cuban or Cuban American and we clip our words together. We slur, we run them together. You know, we speak our own, you know, people were like, you know, who are Spanish speakers say, what are you speaking? I go, we're, we're speaking Spanish. We're, but we're Cuban. She says, oh, okay, never mind. And then we know everything. It's, it's explained. It's understood <laughs> in the culture. So you just have to be Latino to get it, but look at this paper. Oh, I swear I should have bought a two pads, but I have so many pads of paper. It's getting crazy, but look, oh my gosh, isn't this, this, this paper, this is breathtakingly gorgeous. Oh my gosh. So we get three sheets. 
of H. Oh my God. This is, I mean, hopefully, let me see. Let me look up and see. Yeah, you guys can see this good. Okay. I should probably zoom in a little bit. I didn't realize I was so far out. I'm sorry, guys. There we go. We're going to bring it in closer. So, um, but this is just gorgeous. Look at that. It's just gorgeous, gorgeous paper. It's just all of it. But I love the Mediterranean. It speaks to me and culturally it speaks to me. So I very much identify with that Mediterranean Moorish kind of a thing in my other hobby, which is medieval reenacting. I play, I am, I portray a 13th century Spaniard of partial Moorish descent. So back then, because Spain was occupied by the Moors for 800 years, okay? So there is a strong Moorish influence in Spain. Oh, but look how gorgeous this is. Oh my gosh, this is blue and just beautiful. I mean, both sides of the paper. So here we go. So this is now the next print. But just look at that. It's just amazingness. This is going to be so cool when I figure out what I'm going to do with it. Actually, I have some diamond pressed dies that have that geometric, again, Moorish kind of a feel that I bought for that reason. Not used them yet, but I have them. So, you know, we, I, someday I'm going to retire and I will have eight more hours a day, actually more like 10 by the time I usually work, you know, notoriously, you know, I, upwards of nine to 10 hours a day at work. We're just busy and I won't leave my queue undone. So I finish it and I, you know, and I get stink eye regularly from my boss and I go, yeah, to stop me. Um, <laughs> But he's very good to me. Very, very, very good to me. Never denies any time off or anything I need. Um, so I return the favor by being a good employee or as best an employee as I can be. But look at this. Anyway, that's 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 another day. Um, but look at how gorgeous this paper is. Isn't this just oh, just amazing? This. So that's why I got this pad of paper. And there's three sheets of each. So this will last me a while. Oh my gosh, look at that. Just the oranges and just, again, that blue and gold. It's just gorgeous. There is just no other way. Even this, and this is possibly the simplest one that we've seen. And still, really, really, look at that with all the, the fruits and everything. It's like, oh. and here we go. Once again, and look, my nose is already running again. Oh my gosh, it's going to run away with me. I, you know, it'll be, I'll be chasing it down the street in a little bit. You watch. This is awesome very 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 cool so i think that's the last of it oh no one more look how beautiful it is with the blossoms oh, oh my gosh i remember i grew up here in california i used to remember we used to drive through irvine like going down to to the border or to san diego and used to drive through Ver irvine and in the spring the smell of orange blossoms would per permeate the car from outside, even with the windows closed and that doesn't happen anymore civilization has taken over now there's just city and I miss, I, I, I miss every time we watch Soaring Over California and, and, and California Adventure, which is gone now until next year, Food and Wine Festival, they pipe in that smell of orange blossoms. And that brings me back to my childhood and my ch teenage years when it was that way. You know, it's great that we are, our cities are growing and are vibrant, but I miss some of that, you know, that, that, you know, we were, California has been, a, is a very agricultural state. And I miss that. I truly, truly do. There we go. That's just an old lady, you know, going on about silliness like that. Okay. So we're done with that box. Let's put this aside over here. Let's put this back down because now let me move my drink over here and let's bring this box up. Oh my goodness. And let's get that open. Where did I put my tool over here? Okay. Hang on. Give me just one second, guys. Let's just get this quickly or not quickly because now I'm going to struggle on camera because heaven forbid I not. There we go. Oh my goodness. Okay. I missed a piece of tape. I thought I got it. There we go. Now I did. All righty. Look, more done it. Yay. No. Okay. Oh my gosh. Now it's stuck to my tool because it's got a piece of tape tucked to it. Now it's stuck to me. Oh my goodness. All right. We'll put this aside. And take the tape out of it, put it in the trash. You know what, guys? Give me a second. I got to blow my nose again. I'm sure I am pro pro undoubtedly the only YouTuber to announce this to, you, to my viewers that I'm going to blow my nose or do crazy stuff like that because I have the corner of the market of madness. It's like, I don't know. I'm a nut job. And there you go, guys. It's part of my job. Take me or leave me and I'll be okay. All righty. So now we can bring back into play this box from the other box because now we have the Anna Griffin Classic Card Slimline Easel Dies. I am so insanely excited that this came in 
when it did because Peanut Gallery's birthday is the 19th, May 19th. It's coming up. And I'm making him a card with this one. I am so excited because his geek is cards, amongst his geeks. He's also a ham radio guy and that is his other geek although right now stuff is not set up but we are we have when we are talking about the house that we're going to build in um northern california like i said we're going to get a manufactured and it is we are getting a larger one than two people are ever going to need but i need a studio and he needs a radio room so and then we want to have guest space so there you go you know and this is, will be our dream home it's we already know which one we're going to get we're just waiting out you know we my daughter we helped my daughter buy the property so you know that is going to be on we have now part of four acres in greenwood california and we are so excited so here is the die so you can see the dies isn't that just amazing oh my goodness when i saw that i'm like oh well she both showed the train and the car and for the second time i tried to buy the train and i go myra stop stop yourself you own this puppy i swear you do and i do it's in my christmas bin with all my christmases i have the train i need to finish if i it would be easier to discover this stuff if i finished inventorying but i have a lot of stuff Oy, and it's going to take me forever to inventory it but this time i remember so we have, and these are just different iterations of the card. And look, because they use some of the pieces from some of the, ma the, the, the masculine card sets. I should have more of this stuff, of the masculine stuff for it. But still, this is going to be an amazing... See, and here we have little instructions, but I'm sure she's going to do a video. I'll have to look for it if she has not done so already on how to assemble this card i'm sure she has i'm sure it's part of the demonstration she's probably done because remember i save remember guys from hsn craft day if you ever want to see something or you can't remember if something's on auto ship or whatnot i save all the videos for all the craft days okay i'll link you down below to my playlist i'll link you down to that playlist for this most recent craft day so you can see if you're looking for something or inspiration because i go back i'm like oh my gosh I love that card. It may not be totally related to something that I want to make from somebody else. Like, oh, that's really cool. So that's, you know, just throwing that out there. But so this is the Anna Griffin card, the card, the, the, um, the kit itself or out of the dies. And then here, what I did is I bought the paper that coordinates with this. So I snag I snaggled both of them, okay? And which way do I open? Oh, wait a minute, I have to untape this side. And oh, I hear somebody scampering in here. Oh, look, it's Mimi. Mimi has come to visit us. Hi, Mimi. What's up, girl? Here, come here, come here. Okay, no. She says, oh no, you're not picking me up. Never mind, I'll, I'll come back later. <laughs> she's our kitten. She, well, she's almost a year old. She'll be a year old on July 28th. And, um, and she's... A hoot. Nan says regularly, I don't want her to grow up because she is so much fun. We have stairs. This is a two-story house and we have stairs that are open. So this is a 70s house. If you remember the Brady Bunch house of the hit stair was open. Well, those stairs are covered in carpet and those are her personal cat tree. If you could see, it's like she's like a trapeze artist on there. And every once in a while she falls. Like, oh, I meant to do that. It's hilarious. It's like every day because she like waits for Nan to come down because we do have a chairlift for her. And, oh my goodness, it's hilarious. You hear her chuckling, and it's because Mimi is on to her, up to her antics on the stairs, entertaining mom, If and, uh, unless she's on her chair, because frequently, that's where she sleeps, is on Nan's, um, the chairlift chair. Oh my goodness. And then she doesn't want to move the cat. She feels guilty. She's sleeping there. So then she calls me and makes me move the cat, because I don't want to do it. I don't want her to be upset at me. I'm like, oh, okay, so it's okay for her to be upset at me. Yep, true story. But that's the crack of, of living in this house, and I and I love it. I wouldn't trade it for anything. It is a privilege to live with Steve's mom, to you know, to have her here with us. Truly, she's such a joy. Anyway, so we are now looking at the paper. So we got silver. We've got that shiny black. Ooh, nice. And then all kinds of just very masculine, but very. I'm I'm gonna care if it's masculine. This is beautiful. Just awesome. Look at that. Isn't that like perfect upholstery? It's almost like blurry. Almost. Don't you get that feel to it? To me, it's like, ooh, I need to try to focus on it. But just wonderful. Just great paper that's going to work great. There we go. We have some leather, some faux leather. There we go. That kind of woody look. I have some of this paper in. I forget which one is it. Let me see. And it's double-sided, right? So I'm going to bet it's solid on the other side. Yep, yep. But I've got some of this from, I think it's Canton Bleu. 
I could be wrong, but it's from the um, one of the collections I got. And here's more, some more of that, almost like ostrich. I think this is like almost, I give it for ostrich leather. And then we have this. And on that note, we're going to be having another mail call soonish, I hope, because I'm going to get my order from the stuff I ordered from the sale. I ordered a bit from the private sale for those of us who did create at home three. And then I added to it from the warehouse sale that she did. I didn't order very much, but I did order. Oh, wait, I missed some of that paper. Wait, 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 wait. Let's put it away. No, we can't miss this. But more, ex I'm telling you this Anna Griffin, it's more expensive. And little by little, I'm acquiring. The, every time she does a sale, I, I, I order another color of this paper because it is awesome. It die cuts and embosses beautifully. You get what you pay for. She is pricey. Absolutely. Hands down. She's one of the priciest people I buy from. And I, but you get what you pay for. So you just have to be willing to pay it. And I understand, but I, I am, I will, you know, I, I'm trying to limit desperately and you'd never, you know, never know it by how much I buy, but I'm, I'm, I need, I'm trying to be a little bit more picky and selective because you can only have so much stuff and I already have so much stuff I'm not using. So I need to get cracking on. I just don't have, I, the reality of my life is I work full time and then some, and I take care of Nat and I, you know, I feed us and take care of us and I help my sister with my mother and, and I'm tired just talking about it. Holy cow. <laughs> and I try to do these YouTube videos too. It's like <laughs> once in a while I sleep like between three and 4 a.m. So and last night that was pretty close to the truth. <laughs> it's like, this morning I woke up and I, I pulled out my phone. It was 8.15. Oh my God, what happened? The alarm didn't go off. And then I remembered, oh, it's Saturday, you idiot. But I'd given myself such a heart attack that I was wide awake. So I'm like, okay, come down. Let's make some coffee. And I knew I had this stuff. I'm like, let's shoot the video. Okay, so what have I got here? I'm sitting here yakking. I didn't even, what is in here? Well, let's open it up. What I, for, I forget this is. This is unopenable is what this is. Where is my flap? Holy cow. There it is. I'm so special, guys. Oh, I remember what this is. This is the cottage garden. It was one I played with. I went back and forth, hemmed and hawed about. And then absolutely, positively had to have it for him. For him. That was it. For the snail flat out. I know it's crazy, but it's me we're talking about. Oh, I just sent something to the floor. So I just tossed over the folder that I got, but I just for the snail, because it has also a coordinating stamp. Snail mail is my love language. Tell me that it would not be awesome to have handy to stamp on envelopes or to decorate envelopes. But look how cute, look how whimsical. Oh my gosh. We're going to have to make that card, that one, that one specifically, or this one. Oh my gosh. See, I wasn't even paying attention. I just knew I had to have it for the snail. But look how, I mean, it's, to me, it speaks very Victorian, very, you know, Edwardian, very old fashioned, and I'm an old soul at heart. But oh my gosh, look how cute these are. So I'm just like, whoa. But we have great stamps here. So, I mean, you can see them here. And we'll, we're, I just tossed the, let me grab the envelope again for a second so that we have a little bit of a contrasty background, not show you both at the same time, but uh, really nice. I'm really, really pleased. A little note to say hello. Snail mail is my love language. There it is. We've got a B. Stay wild. There you go. That's it. Don't be tame. You know, do it. We are, you know, it's, um, Walt Disney said it best. Growing old. I mean, um, Growing old is mandatory. Growing up is um, optional. And I know I'm not quoting, I'm paraphrasing it, but that's it. You know, we, you know, we can't stop, you know, age, but we don't have to, you know, what we, how we go about it. And I refuse to get old, at least not mentally, you know, at least, no, I'm always going to be that, you know, that teenager that, you know, I'm going to be Peter Pan. So here we have the stamps and there's our little friend, the snail. Oh, I'm so excited. I got this. It's like, yay. So I got him. And then, of course, we have all of those coordinating dies. I mean, those are a lot of dies. And they cut so well. I, I am just, I am never cease to be pleased with that which I get from Diamond Press. I don't buy everything, but I, what I get, I never am unhappy with it. So we'll put a stash set. We're going to put it this way because I always put it so I know what it is on the facing out. And we'll set that aside over here. 
and we're going to go back into this box and pull out something else. And let's see if I can get, get this envelope to open this way. These tend to be not going to be one that's going to be easy. So let's just use the tool. Let's just use the tool. Except now the tool, this one is going, there we go. Wraps, oh, because I hit bubble wrap. So what have I got in here? Oh, I bought the Knitwit, the Pretty Peony, the Flowering Foam, and the Dyes. So we got these. Let's, um, let me grab my scissors. I am so sorry for snarfling at you again. I'm already, it's, oh, I need to go take, and it's so funny because I actually have allergy pills in my pocket. I need to get them out of my pocket and in me. So these are the flowering dyes that will cut out the peonies. And I played with, because I have a lot of these, a lot, way too much in all honesty. But we're going to, um, and I don't play with them. That's the problem. It's not so much that I have a lot of them. They're just sitting there, you know, collecting dust. They're not dusty, mind you, because they're in a bin. But still, I, my point is they're not getting used. So let me just cut the little label here. And foam, the flowering foam is just regular, ah. Oh well, anyway. um. It's just foam, but it's like paper thin, really, really thin, but it's beautiful. It makes, oh my gosh, we're going to have to do something with this soonish, but look at those beautiful colors. Oh, I love it. And, and I really, really, again, I have just the greatest of intentions and that's why I get this stuff because I know I will get to this. I know I will before I die even. That's the evil plan, okay? And here's another one, so I'm going to try to pull this. Let me see if I can get this done real quick, guys. Maybe I should just do this as a Tip Tuesday all together. That's not, okay, I'm not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen, but I'm gonna go ahead and do this. I'm gonna cut this tag off from the top. And then what I do is we grab our little paper, cut, paper trimmer again. Because I know I'm keeping this. This ain't going back, people. This is staying. And then we cut that off, put that back down away in the garage, and it's my tool garage on here on the floor. And now, again, there's my sleeve. There's my storage sleeve for these. And easily accessible, take these two pieces and put them in the trash before they end up on the floor with the other, oh my gosh, you should see my floor, guys. Seriously, it looks like an election happened here from last week, from all the die cutting I did for Anna Griffin, and I still haven't vacuumed. I'm very shameful about that. I'm sorry. Not enough to do it, but I am sorry. <laughs> I'll get to it. So anyway, that's that's that. What have we down to just two boxes? Because one of these is pretty big. I forget what's in there, so we'll see in a minute. This is what do we have in here. We have the Easter. Oh my gosh, I did finally crack and buy this because it came down. I've been I've been talking about it. You guys saw me do these up for Easter this year. Used used them to the cards, but they went on the flash sale and they came down to both boxes for $23 and 23 and chump change. And yeah, that was it. I didn't need any further convincing. I'm like, you know what? I don't know if it's sold out and I don't know if that sale has remained or not. I will link you to it, but that was it at this price. No, I'm going to, I will now have supplies to make Easter cards forever and a day. I may even do some share of these with my, the grandbabies. And whoops, there we go. So I'm not going to pull these out. What I am going to do is link you to those videos. But we have both, you know, where I made the cards with these because you guys can see them for next year. But so I got the Easter stickers, 60 stickers. Okay, maybe I'll tease you a little bit and pull these out of these, out of their bags. But these are the stickers. So you get 60 stickers. They're amazing. Just, just beautiful stickers. Can you tell? So, I mean, just gorgeous, gorgeous boxes. And, and remember, guys, because we can upcycle these boxes. Have you not seen my video? I'll have to link you to it. Maybe I need to do another one. I need to make I need to take one of these boxes. I've already put them all into containers that are e more easily storable than these. And I saved all the boxes. And we are going to upcycle. So maybe we'll do another upcycle. What did I do with my box, right? That's, I think that's a plan. And then these are card, these are die cuts. These are more um, like the decoupaging I love to do. So they are stackable, but just beautiful. And for the price, you can't beat it. And she gives us foamies. So you have these, the foamies of course don't let you see. So let me, let me show you just a little bit about what is in here. Oh my gosh. Sometimes I cannot get a grip on these to get them open, and we're here three days waiting for me to stop struggling. So 
let me grab there we go so see you see them and you can these are all you can punch them all out and you layer them and they're just beautiful ephemera for easter cards and they also come with sentiments so on the back side here you go a springtime hello just beautiful again that gold embossing just beautiful typeset that anna is known for because remember she was a stationer first before she moved into this into the crafting world yay for us that she made that jump right because now we have all of this beautifulness to play with okay so i'm gonna put that back away in the box come on back away in the box back 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 fido back there we go and we'll put this back inside its plastic cellophane because what else am i gonna do and we there we go because this is just i already have two of these opened up so these i'm gonna have to find a place to put them away at so let me move all of this stuff over here because all i have a box now we're back to that russian nesting doll thing i'm always talking about because we have this box was inside that bigger box so now we're gonna pull this oh my gosh they even left the paper clip on it they've donated it just said donated a paper clip to me how kind I can always use the big ones too. I use them every day because I do the mail here too for my company. So I'm the one that mails all the orders out of people who order and want the mail. Okay, so, oh, look, paper. Oh, okay, I know what this is. So this is, and these were on sale and because I goofed, I lagged. They, I was going to get it both in teal and in pink, but I missed out on the teal one and there you go. I will have to get it later. Let me, hang on, let me toss this box. Fly, my freaking fly. Hey, you know what? That was two, another two points. I should get a three points for that to getting it inside of a box. Okay, so these are the classic, the leather-bound albums from We Are Memory Keeper. These albums are awesome. I probably should have gotten another pink one, so maybe I'll have to look. Because these were also as part of the flash sale. So I got them for 17, I think it was 1797. So I did not take any any convincing. Why? Because I am working still on my pages from Create, the Create 8. And while we get a postbound album as part of our kit, there's no way I can do the dimensionalized pages that she's having us do and put them in a regular postbound. So a three ring binder and it's pink, guys. So it's perfect. And it include and it comes with 10 uh, page protectors so i now have the album that was strictly why actually no 20 so we got two packages guys for 17 dollars. seriously 17.97 i and i linked you guys to that flesh sale so if you missed it sorry sorry not sorry and we have pages in here so what we may have like 25 pages there's not that many in here i think it's like five one two yep three four five five pages so 25 pages so i definitely can get all of my pages and I will reveal once I get them all done I will do a reveal of all of the pages I did with my create three I'm still finishing I'm still working through the videos because I am many things but a fast crafter is not one of them you can you guys can tell come on you know how my videos go long because I talk too much and craft too slow anyway guys that is it we have run out of goodies Hopefully you enjoyed this madcap, mad journey with me of everything I got from craft day. I'm not expecting anything else. I am amazed. This is the first time I've gotten this all so fast and all together at once. It tends to trickle through. So I am really, really excited. So we're going to start making stuff with this and we'll, you know, we're just going to chow through. So hopefully you enjoyed this guys. If you did, I enjoyed shooting this for you. So if you did give me a thumbs up, drop me a note, tell me what you like the best. And, and I said, so tell me if you want me to see something, do it first. So let me know. And, um, and if you want to see more of my ongoing shopping madness and crafting madness, then by all means subscribe, ring that bell. And you're going to know when this bad penny, this mad bad penny We'll be back because I will. Meanwhile, I'm going to let you go. Craft. Make something beautiful. Okay, guys? And meanwhile, I'm going to do my thing. You do yours. But don't forget, we are all a little mad here. So come on. Craft the madness with me. Okay? I'm going to talk to you guys later. Bye!